We've got you covered tonight with the capture of Vicki and Casey White. Good evening to you. I'm Nikhil Williams. And I'm Dan Schaefer. This picture of Casey White at a car wash on May 3rd helped police end this. After some 11 days on the run, the search for the Alabama inmate and former corrections officer came to a dramatic end in Indiana. They came through this grassy area. Uh, the, the Marshall Task Force officers intercepted them, actually collided with them to try to end the pursuit. Uh, when this occurred, the female driver of the vehicle shot herself. Authorities say Casey White behind the wheel of this Cadillac in Evansville that crashed during the short chase. Vicki White was rushed to the hospital where we now know she died of that self-inflicted gunshot wound. Lauderdale County Sheriff Rick Singleton had hoped she would survive, but is thankful no one else was hurt. Uh, no citizens were hurt, no law enforcement officers were hurt uh, as a result of this escape. Just today, investigators released this photo of a 2006 Ford F-150 pickup truck in Evansville that authorities say the couple abandoned at a car wash around May 3rd. It wasn't until Sunday that authorities got the tip. Turns out the two were still in the area. We got a dangerous man off the street today. Uh, he is never going to see the light of day again. For days, law enforcement had urged the public to be on the lookout, hoping Casey White's six foot nine, 340 pound size would make him easy to spot. Sheriff Singleton is anxious to have him back in custody in North Alabama to face charges of capital murder from the 2015 stabbing of Connie Ridgway. Uh, we've already made arrangements for the Department of Corrections. He will be brought here for arraignment. If it's two o'clock in the morning, it doesn't matter. The judge has agreed to come out.